Welcome to Smart Pension. This video will give you a quick overview of how to use your Smart Pension account. You should have received an activation email from us with details of how to activate and sign into your account. If you haven't, please contact your employer. If you don't have an email address or haven't given it to your employer, your employer will provide you with a welcome letter that has temporary signing details for you. To sign into your account for the first time, click the Activate your online Smart Pension account link in your activation email. Then we'll ask you to create a secure password of your choice. Once you've signed in and changed your password, you'll see your account dashboard. If you aren't currently contributing to your pension and would like to start, go to Account, then Manage Membership and confirm that you want to join the scheme. You can also opt out from here. Your dashboard shows you how much your pension savings are currently worth and how much you and your employer are currently contributing to your pension. If you scroll down the page, you'll be able to see if you have any outstanding tasks to complete, what's been contributed so far, a message from your employer and links to your profile, investments, inbox and contributions. To check your personal details, click on Update Details. In your profile section, you can update your personal details. Please make sure that your personal details, including your email address, are correct and up to date. You can change your password by clicking Security. You can also update your expression of wish from the menu. In this section, you can complete your expression of wish. If you were to die before you retire, your pension savings can be paid as a lump sum to someone you choose. An expression of wish tells us who you'd like that to be and helps the trustees decide who to choose. It's important to keep your expression of wish up to date to reflect any changes in your circumstances over time. Some people may not realise that their pension savings are actually invested in the stock market in a similar way to stocks and shares ISAs. To find out how your savings are invested, click on Review Your Investments. Your contributions are automatically invested in the Smart Growth Fund Moderate Risk when you're automatically enrolled. This is the name of our default investment fund. If you want to change how your pension savings are invested, you can choose one of our three investment strategies or our do-it-yourself funds. Click here on Manage Your Investments. Here you can choose one of our three investment strategies or do-it-yourself funds. Here you can find out on some of the risks involved with the investment strategies. There's also a link to our investment guide which explains your investment options in more detail. You can select the level of risk you want to take and then select how you want to take your pension savings when you retire. We'll ask you to confirm your choices and submit the changes. Alternatively, you can choose your own investments with our do-it-yourself funds. Here is our full list of do-it-yourself funds. You can spread your investments between multiple funds. Each fund has its own fact sheet so that you can find out more about its performance. You need to make sure that your investment choices add up to 100%. Once you have finished choosing, click Save. Again, we'll ask you to confirm your choices and submit the changes. Throughout your pension journey, you'll receive communications from us to make sure that you're staying on track with your pension savings. You can read them by clicking on your inbox. Here, you'll see all the communications or letters that we've sent you. This is also where you'll be able to find your annual pension statements each year. You may want to contribute more to your pension savings each month than the legal minimum. You can do this by clicking update your contributions. Here you can click on the plus or minus sign or type in the percentage of your salary that you'd like to contribute to your pension savings each month. Don't worry, it won't let you contribute less than the legal minimum. Once you've decided on the new amount, click save. You'll see these changes reflected in your next payslip. You can also see how much your employer is contributing to your pension savings here. The last box here is your contribution summary. Click on review your savings to see a breakdown of your contributions. 
you'll be able to see how much you and your employer has contributed to your pension savings. If you've already transferred in other savings or made one-off contributions to pension savings, they'll also show here as voluntary. You can see how much you've transferred into your Smart Pension account from other pension providers. Click on Learn More if you'd like to find out how you can transfer your other pension savings to us. You can also access the things we've just been through on the top of your screen here. Here you can see your investment summary. It shows you how much your savings are worth and how they're invested. This section also gives you the option to update your retirement age. You can use the drop down menu to select your retirement age and click update. Remember that if you're using one of our investment strategies, this could affect the way that your money is invested. For more information, take a look at our investment guide. If you need more help using your account, you can click support. Here you can find our online help center, talk to us on live chat, and read frequently asked questions. You can also click on account at the top of your screen to manage your membership, update your contribution rate and check your smart extras. Here's where you can find all of the great additional extras you're entitled to as a smart pension member. Here you can register for smart rewards that can help you save on everyday expenses and integrate your pension account with Amazon Alexa and Google Home meaning that you can make changes to your pension account with voice commands. If you want to opt out of the pension scheme or cease your membership, you'll need to head to Manage Membership. Here you can follow the instructions on screen to opt out or cease your membership. You can also download your member guide here to learn more about the scheme and the importance of saving for your retirement. If you have any questions, you can always email employee at smartpension.co.uk. You can also download the Smart Pension member app on Apple and Android devices to do any of the things we've discussed in this video.